Question, what is your take on all these peptides now? First of all, peptides are a sequence of amino acids and they work on various different hormones. There's a lot of different types of peptides and my feelings on them depend on which peptide we're speaking about. GLP-1 agonists such as Wagovi, Zepbound, these are miracle drugs that have a lot of power for helping people who are clinically obese. I would not suggest that if you're trying to lose 10, 15 pounds, you get on GLP-1. But if you have a significant amount of weight loss and you're struggling to lose that weight, they can absolutely be life-changing. While losing that weight, you want to start to build lifestyle habits so that you can get off the drug after a period of time. I would not suggest staying on any drug long-term unless it only had positive correlations and outcomes. Another variation of peptides are IGF-1 agonists, insulin-like growth hormone. Sermerlin is FDA approved. You can utilize it, but I've never seen really positive results with it. I don't think it's worthwhile. There are also such things as BPC-157, TB-500 that can help with soft tissue injuries. However, they're not FDA approved and the risks may outrun the rewards. We simply have a lot of anecdotal data and animal studies. If you're going to use it, I'd use it for a period of one month, get off and see if you've had positive outcomes with it, but do not use it long-term. Every peptide is very different. Check out the caption below to learn more.